este Ramírez. Ramírez cambia para Emily Westman. Ataca el Cosmos ya más de media hora de la primera parte. 0 a 0. Y en el centro la pelota arriba corta el capitán Carlos Méndez. La partida está Licoff en el medio. La gana Quintilla. Ahora la cancha Quintilla para Mike Ramos. Mike Ramos que levanta el centro. Que de la pelota ahora para Jorge Rivera. Jorge Rivera. Sigue Rivera. La aguanta Rivera. El remate el arco por encima le pegaba Jordi Quintilla. Saque desde el fondo ahora para Cosmos de Nueva York. La consigue la desma. Arranca ahora Andrés Flores. Viene Flores. Va Flores. En el corte. Es en la mitad de la cancha Mario Martínez. Dejando ahora para Héctor Ramos. Para Mike Ramos que metía el Puerto Rico FC. And once again he's done a great job. He's developing some of the local talent in the island. It's a nice lead. And Puerto Rico attacking here early. Here's Ramos trying to mention the pitch is just pristine here tonight. Both of these organizations were very impressed when they came out to practice this morning. Oh, absolutely. Looks like a putting green, and that's going to benefit both teams. Puerto Rico attacking again, and they are on the board with an early goal. Jordi Quintilla with a goal. Right now, if you are Marco Velez, you've got to love the fire that your team is playing with. Absolutely. You got to love the fact that Hector Ramos, your number nine, is playing like a true hero right now, holding the ball and giving Puerto Rico, there you see him on the ball, giving Puerto Rico an outlet every single time, whether he holds the ball placed negative or a couple of times he was been able to spin off and take that FC Edmonton defender away from pressure. So Puerto Rico FC protecting a 2-0 lead. Obviously trying to keep a clean sheet here, but boy, they would love to add a third to thank this crowd for coming out tonight to Austin Tyndall Park. And that would be the right thing to do. You got to make sure you take care of your chances. But if Ramos or even Doyle, who just came in the game, is able to capitalize and put one away, that pretty much will be Another the nail in the coffin for FC Edmonton. Quintilla. A little touch now to Ramirez. Puerto Rico FC has another foul given. Now a long distance ball for Rivera. Corey Miller heads it down and shields it away from Rivera. His younger brother Tyler plays for the San Jose Earthquakes. They both, as well as their father, played soccer at Indiana University. So Tanner was in attendance on Wednesday night when number one rated Indiana and top 20 Butler Play to a nil-nil draw in front of 6,100 people at the Selleck Bowl on the Butler campus on Wednesday night. That's quite a crowd. That's a record-setting crowd for Butler soccer. Opportunity here for Puerto Rico. 18 and 19. Good sliding tap. Including that one, that attempt there would be considered a shot, but not uh, necessarily on target. Bad giveaway by Gibson, Puerto Rico on the attack, Ramos on the outside, watched by a pair of since their last victory, span of seven matches, winless. On the attack, Quintilla looks to the far side for Culbertson into the box, goes back post, Tiso's there, heads it away, and it will... None the worse for wear? No, he's all right. He's ready to go. Got some air time. Less than five minutes left. First half, Delta's leading 1-0. Brian Burke, the goal scorer, off a corner. But it's been Puerto Rico the last few minutes with the opportunities. There, Connor Doyle with an opportunity right outside the box, but picked right up. Aga, it'll fall to Doyle. Doyle's not afraid to... Take a volley from there. Looked like it bounced up just a little bit too high for him to crank that left foot. Now Moses is going to step behind the ball. He'll curl one in. 